Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of McMath Outdoors. I'm really excited to announce the start of our brand new series called How to Fish Fridays, where every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be teaching you guys a little bit something about how to fish, like how to tie knots, our tackle selection, and even creating your own rigs, and that's and it's stuff that we use every single time we go out. I'll teach you guys stuff how to do salt water and even fresh water. Um, but we're doing this with the goal to teach you guys how to fish, because I know I've had a decent amount of people uh, tell me like, oh man, this would be, you know, I really love watching your videos and I really want to fish, I just don't know how to fish. Um, so stay tuned, where today we'll be teaching you how to, in our opinion, create the best live bait rig for gag grouper. This is gonna be the live bait grouper rig we'll be tying today. Um, the whole like concept behind it and which why I believe it's so effective is that the weight obviously will be on the floor of the water um, and the live bait will be on the hook and the bait will be wanting to just swim away so it'll have not some nice room to get away and get off the bottom and uh, I've we've noticed that we have the most hookups using these type of rigs versus um, having the weight just being able to freely move um, and the beads are meant to help restrict it so we can have this nice uh, probably six seven eight inch uh, space for stuff to move around and to make this rig we only really need three pieces we need our fluorocarbon leader and we like to use 60 pound just because it's a little heavier and can get roughed up a little more before breaking um, then you need hooks obviously and these are We'll use bigger hooks than this quite often, but these are just the ones I had handy. Um, but these octopus circle hooks are the best by far in our opinion. Um, you'll need a weight. Um, today, today's video will be doing two ounce weights because we'll be in about 30 feet of water and this makes sure that it gets down nice and quick. And then plastic beads. Honestly, you can use just about any plastic bead known to man. Uh, these are ones where we just had handy in our tackle box. Um, but yeah, so we will go ahead and show you the first step which is actually cutting the leader so we what we've noticed is that 18 to 22 inches of leader is the best um, it's not too long and it's just not and it's not quite too short and for some reason if it's too long we've had less hookups and if it's short obviously there's not enough room for the live bait to swim around and that's been more of an issue as well but uh, yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut 18 to 22 inches off real quick and Go, we'll go on from there. Alrighty, so we do have our leader cut now. Next step is gonna be tying on the hook. Um, where for this rig, I like to stick with the classic snell knot. Uh, it's very easy to tie and very effective at holding. Um, and I will be, I'll be making later videos discussing more in depth our knots, but the, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to tie your snell knot. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, go from the eye Go down the hook with your line, and then you want to have nice, a nice tag end, uh, nice tag end, because this is what we'll actually be using to wrap the rest of our line. Um, and then I always like to just double check that I'll have enough, because nothing will be taken away from this side. Just double check that we have plenty to for our weights and our beads and stuff like that as well. So next, I like to pinch right here about the base of the hook, and then next you're gonna wrap up five or six times, like so. And then after I've done that, I always try to pinch everything together with one finger so I have my other hand to do the rest. And then next, you see this, uh, you can kind of see it, There's there'll be a loop that you've created then next you just take that tag end and go through that loop again. And then pull tight like so. And it's very nice knot. Alrighty, so I got the, the snell knot pulled nice and tight. And now we are ready for our next step 
I also like to keep just about that much tag on it because sometimes the knot can slide just a little bit and that way it ensures there will still be plenty of tag left. But next step is to put on, putting on our first bead. So for what we're gonna wanna do is obviously open it up. I'll, I usually just grab two out right away since I'll need two. So what we're gonna wanna do is thread the bead on the fishing line so that way now it can slide wherever it wants to. And about, uh, I don't know, six to eight inches or so. This, you can also play around with this if you want to, to see what works best for you. But we will, uh, then once we figure out the distance we like, we thread the next, or we, we thread through to make like a really large loop. Go back to where the, go back to that main opening and then pull down. And then if you pull that tag end, you're not gonna take any away from uh, your like main end between that bead. So then you pull, cinch down, and now it will be incredibly hard to move. And about the only thing that actually ends up moving this is if it gets stuck on a rock or if that weight gets stuck on a rock. Next, really simple. We're just gonna put the weight on the line and then we will, nothing else we have to do to that. And lastly, we grab our last bead and thread it through and do the exact same process we did on that first bead. The only thing to the only real difference is, whoops. We want to immobilize, the purpose of this top bead is to immobilize uh, this bead, so, or to, to immobilize this. So then I will just try to hold that bead close to that weight and just pull, and there we have it. There is our full leader. Then you take this line, and sometimes we will put a swivel on this. Sometimes we'll just tie this straight to our uh, braid, which that kind of, uh, and if you want to learn how to tie that knot, that will also be in next week's video, so stay tuned. But yeah, here you have it, how to tie a leader, or the best live bait rig for catching grouper. Um, we will be putting these to use in our fishing trip tomorrow. And hopefully we'll get a good video for you guys catching some monster grouper. But I really thank you for watching today's video. I really want you guys down below to tell me in the comments what you think I should teach you guys how to do, what kind of knots I should tie, uh, what do you guys want to know about fishing. And I will try to make a video on it. So I really appreciate you guys watching today's video. As always, stay safe, stay awesome. Peace. Since I'm